This video is about the MMM Plus Color Boost Action, and particularly it's about the Options window. That is going beyond just playing the basic action. We've seen how in the chapters 5 and 6 how this works in practice, and the idea is a very interesting one, that we're going to make a selection that indicates what we think the most important sorts of colors in the picture are, and then we allow the action to, dev to devise a strategy to make the whole picture look better based on that information. In other words, the selection itself is never used as part of a, of a correction. It's discarded before the correction is made. It's only used to evaluate. So um, here I have a, a sort of an interesting picture. It's not in the uh, chapters itself, uh, but it's a picture of a rainbow at dawn in the desert. Um, so it's, it's a little bit unusual. Uh, the rainbow is presumably the object of most interest. So if I were, were really working on this, I think I would assume that I would try to select the rainbow and let that be the, 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 the pivot point of the correction. So if I'm going to be using um, MMM plus color boost here, my inclination is activate the lasso, do a selection like that, click, and see what happens. Okay, now obviously some stuff has to be toned down. But the basic idea is pretty good. There's before, there's after. The idea is to accentuate the rainbow. And my, by selecting it the way that I did, I tried to talk Photoshop into adopting some kind of a strategy that is going to make it more pronounced. Um, the easiest way to handle this might be to just reduce opacity until I like it. Something like that. And then there's before, there's after. That's somewhat realistic, and it gets us a nice rainbow. Or we could get better quality yet if we went through each one of these uh, layers and tried to, to accentuate the ones that are sort of carrying the ball and not the ones that are just causing problems, adding noise or whatever. Okay, so that's how I would do this picture if I were in a hurry. Um, I would just say, okay, I think probably selecting the rainbow is the best idea, and just run the action and like that, and this is probably satisfactory um, um, in most cases. Now suppose this picture is a little bit more important and I have some extra time to spend at this step. All right, let's um, back off here and step backwards. And you notice how this panel has set it up. So even though there are a million steps in this, in this big action, uh, the, the panel just sees them as a single step. So I've backed off two steps, and now we're, we're back before any action has been applied. And with my selection ready. Okay, so this time, instead of going of clicking on the action in the panel, I'm going to option click. Okay, up comes this options window. You may recall that from the, uh, from the color boost action, we had this kind of thing going on. Um, the, the color boost part of this action tries to emphasize the A channel of LAB more than the B. And the reason is because experience shows that this is the correct procedure most of the time. Sometimes it's not, so you have the option for this image only of changing it to treat both equally or even accentuate the B more than the A. So like I said, these, this side is for this image only, and this side is if for some reason you wish to change the default so that all of your images will um, be treated this way in the future. So I'm going to click here now on the B is greater than A for two reasons. Um, I'm wondering if this sky has now become too purple, and I wonder also if, if this building has become too orange. I don't know if we'll be able to see a difference, but we'll find out. Click. Okay, I see a difference right away in the sky. See, the sky is being bluer and less purple. Let's go back to the other way. See, that's more purple, that's more blue, and the house is more yellow. So I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, we also have some interesting preview options here. You can preview with only the, um, the MMM part of it, if you'd like, to see what that's doing. Or you can preview only with the color boost to see what that's doing. Or you can see the whole thing. Um, you can also zoom in from the window uh, to look at the, the pictures a little bit closer if you want to. And there is also the possibility of adding a saturation layer, which is discussed in the chapter 
but I'm not going to discuss it here, but it is an option to add here. Okay, the thing that I find the most useful is this new option, which is I made a certain assumption about this picture when I opened it. I said, well, the rainbow is the most important thing, so let's select the rainbow and figure that Photoshop is going to take it from there. But this is a very unusual picture. I don't know whether that really was the right idea or not. I mean, if I have to guess, that's my guess. But this allows me to use some other selection. I can use any selection tool that I want to that's in the panel. I can click here and start using the lasso. Here, I think I wouldn't mind just selecting all and see what, what the difference would be because it's going to let me compare it. I'm going to say try a select all here and then compare the two versions. That is with my selection of the rainbow versus with my uh, with the select all command. Okay, and, I, and to, to start the comparison process, I click here. Okay, so that's now, that's done with select all. You can see it says uh, it's got activated view the new selection. I can go back and have a look at how that compares to my selection. Hmm, interesting variation there. Let's see, what, what do we think? There's this, that was very light in comparison to the other because uh, the, the first selection was trying to really bring out the rainbow. Okay, color-wise, I think I, I might like this new one a little bit better. Maybe we want some, something between the two. Um, so I'm thinking maybe the sky is too dark in this version and too light in that version. Okay, so I restore the original version and I would say let's try a different selection. See if we might like that better. I'll click on the lasso this time. And I will select the rainbow, but I'm also going to select quite a bit of other stuff. Thinking to myself that this isn't quite a select all, so it may sort of split the difference between the last two versions that we did. Okay, the, the one with select all is now going to, is now going to vanish. We only have uh, the original selection plus this new one active at the same time. So I click again, and it's rerunning the action with that new selection as opposed to my original selection of the rainbow. Okay, I kind of like this. I think I would live with that. And so I click OK. Now, see what we would do with this. Go check the MMM luminosity layer. Do we want to do anything with it? Possibly not. I, I'm thinking this, this picture may look better with that layer off altogether, so I've just reduced opacity to zero. Now I'll go to the endpoint adjustment layer and try to add a little bit more contrast there. Maybe like that. And now we decide how about the color situation. Let me turn off the color boost to see whether I like the color variation that's being put in. I think so. I mean, it looks like the greens are getting to be a nice color, and I'm not really upset by what's happening to the sky. So I'd say this layer here is fine, except it's too much of a good thing, especially maybe in the darker colors, because the rainbow's pretty light, the tree is somewhat darker. So I'm going to try this. Apply a layer mask to it. And then, then go go even further with the opacity. So I'm I'm going to live with that. So that will be the result of my experiment with the options window in this particular image of the rainbow. Let's see whether it made a difference. Remember, there's only one action being played here. None of the rest of the uh, picture postcard workflow. So there's before, and there's after. So this, I hope, illustrates what you can do with that options window if you are interested in spending you know, a few extra minutes on the picture because it's worth trying two or three different approaches.